All right, hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the SQL Plus using Oracle Instant Client and make a connection from SQL Plus to your autonomous database on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So your uh, prerequisites are that you have an account already on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure and you have already created an autonomous database. Um, in order to get SQL Plus on your machine installed, go to otn.oracle.com, otn.oracle.com. And from the first screen on the downloads, click on Oracle Instant Client. And you'll need to download the appropriate client for your operating system. I'm going to demonstrate this on Microsoft Windows. So let me click on that first. And there are various packages. Uh, for most people, uh, if you're in the US, you don't have any um, foreign language requirements and things like that, you could go with the basic light. And we're also going to download the SQL Plus package because we're going to utilize SQL Plus to connect to the database. So download these two files. I'm going to pause the video now and when their files are downloaded, I will continue. Okay, the files are completely downloaded. And there's one more file that I forgot to mention earlier. As you see, you'll need this uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 file. If you click on this link, download the appropriate uh, file for your machine and run it. I will not go into the details of that. I will focus primarily on the SQL Plus uh, installation. I'll assume that you can do that. Uh, offline on your own. Okay, so we've downloaded these two files and basically what we need to do is uh, unzip them and I'm going to unzip them and put them on the root uh, drive on my C drive. So I'm going to unzip this uh, basic SQLite. Uh, you can use uh, 7-zip or you can double click on this file and in Windows you'll see this instant client. I'll do that this time. We'll just grab that and drag that onto C drive. And what we need, in addition to just the instant client, we're going to want the SQL plus files because we're going to use SQL plus to connect. So double click on the zip file and double click on the instant client. And we're going to grab these six files we're just going to drag them into instant client folder that we just uh, unzipped i believe they got copied let me try again i didn't see a confirmation okay they did so i'll just skip these all the files are in the folder now uh, and then here's SQL Plus. Before we run SQL Plus, we're going to need to make the connection from SQL Plus to our autonomous database on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to make two folders inside this folder. So right click in here and uh, click on New Folder and name this folder Network, N-E-P-W-O-R-K. And then we will double click on this network folder and create a subfolder inside it called admin, A-D-M-I-N. Okay, now we'll go inside the admin folder. What we need to do inside here is put the files in that let uh, our SQL Plus know how to connect to the autonomous database. So we're going to go back to our Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Again, uh, you should already have an account and you should have already created an Oracle database. So we'll go to our menu on the left, the hamburger menu, and we will scroll down to our autonomous database. So I'm going to connect to this Azure DB database. So I'm going to click on that. 
and click on DB connections and download the wallet. This is the same process, the same procedure that you have done if you uh, downloaded this previously for SQL uh, developer. So we'll go ahead and click on download wallet, give it a password. And click download. The download is complete. I'm going to go show it in my folder again. What we need to do is we take the contents of this of this zipped file and put them in our SQL Developer Network Admin folder. So here's a SQL Developer. I'm sorry, um, Instant Client Network admin so we're going to need to drag the contents of the zip file into that admin folder that we just created so let's double click on this zip file we'll go grab these eight files we will drag them into the admin folder okay let me go into this admin folder and let me show you the file that we're interested in here it's going to show us how to connect to our Autonomous database. So, so the file that we're interested in is called tnsnames.ora. I'm just going to double click on it. And it, in Windows, it says, What do you want to open it with? I'm going to open it up with Notepad. And notice in here, this is how you connect to your database. There are three connections already. Um, my database name and then a high, low, and medium. Uh, so basically, in order to make the connection from SQL Plus, you're going to have to give it this connection name. If I don't want to type this long string, I'm going to connect to the high connection database that has the highest performance for a SQL command and less uh, concentration on concurrent connections. So I'm going to copy this and I'm just going to paste it right above it. I'm going to make a short name for this, just called hi, and I'll show you how it's used in a second. I'm going to save this file. And now to run SQL Plus, all we need to do is go back, to navigate to our instant client 19.6. You can double click on SQL Plus. And Windows, uh, is uh, having some security issues saying, you know, are you sure you want to run this? We're going to say yes, run anyways. And here's SQL Plus, and we need to connect to our autonomous database. Recall that the user name is admin, and now we need to give it the connection it says that we want to connect to. And I'm just going to say at high. That's why I made that short name my TNS names, so at high, if I didn't do that, I would have to type Asher DB underscore high. So I'm gonna say at high, hit enter, and type um, my password. And as you can see, I'm connected to the database. Uh, we could do a select uh, table name from user, Tables, and we should see that table that we created earlier, table one. All right, that's it. That's how you connect with SQL Plus to your Oracle Autonomous Database on the cloud.